Good morning. I'm Bernie and welcome to another wilderness fishing adventure. Today we've got something really interesting in store and if you're watching this that means it actually worked. So the gorge is a place that I have quite a bit of history with. It is a narrow spot on the Wabagoon River in northwestern Ontario and there's a bridge there on a road that cuts across through the bush for about 40-45 miles and it's the only road in the area and uh, here's the situation the the river narrows down right there and drops through what I call a gorge uh, I suppose there's other people that have other names for it um, and it collects the walleyes and northerns in there uh, particularly walleyes and we've caught a lot of fish there over the years uh, you know I've taken my grandkids and family members and people I've bear hunted with and so forth in this area we go down there and usually are able to catch a meal of walleyes pretty much anytime you want now this spring had a, there was a lot of rain super high water combined with snow melt and um, in December they had a big wet snow up here that kind of tipped a lot of trees down as it landed on them and then the snow just kept piling on and piling on so the forest roads up here are just choked with trees and bushes that have uh, drooped down over the roads and in, in quite a few places there are major trees larger trees that have dropped across the road and most of the roads up here that I've traveled down with trucks and four-wheelers for the last um, you know eight or ten years or so are impassable at this point I'm hoping that I can get down this maiden road to that bridge and catch some walleyes there today so I'm going to show you some footage of uh, I did some drone footage on there I've done a couple of videos at this spot before so here is what this looks like normally and uh, some drone footage and then uh, also you can see you know we catch walleyes in the eddies below this gorge um, under the bridge and so forth well a helicopter flew over this back in around the first of may and as you can see it is just completely wiped out by super high water and so i don't know if i can get to the bridge because there's so many trees and bushes across the road I'm hoping that the bear guide in this area has opened up the road so we can get to his bear baits in this spring eventually they probably have to fix this road and the bridge so we'll, we'll just see when we get there it's totally gonna be um, I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get there or not but if I do I'm gonna try to catch a few walleyes and uh, I'll keep a couple and we'll have a uh, fried walleye for dinner tonight and I'll show you that so thanks for joining me today it should be fun let's get after it Here's our first major obstacle, a big washout. Obviously, I am the first one this year to try to get through here. But I think I can, so I'm going to try it.
Well, we made it. We're here. And uh, it is amazing the destruction that all that water caused. That's just incredible. Uh, we had quite a trip in here. I had a couple of washouts that I just barely made it through. But it's a long haul back in here and I'm really excited that I got in here. Holy smokes, just look at this. Surprisingly, the bridge is still there and exactly in the position that it was before. Um, but there's water running through on the other side of it mostly and then I'm definitely not going to be able to get over there. But I will be able to fish from this side. I think I can get... I mean those huge boulders all got moved. They were all piled up here and they got moved all the way down to there. Unreal. The power of water is incredible. Man, there's some good eddies over there that would have some fish in them, but I'm only going to be able to fish right down here. Let's see if there's a couple walleyes in there. Let's get our stuff and give it a whirl. are over there just gulping down fish left and right. I don't know what they're eating, but they're sure getting a lot of them.
here where I can get a look at you. Oh yeah. No, he's not that big. He's just using the current. like that to bite you right off. They've got really sharp teeth. Pretty normal. Yeah, any kind of fishing lure, you know that every time you cast it out there, you might not ever get it back. And you can't get too attached to lures. I mean, jigs are cheap, but I mean, even like there's a lot of lures that are eight and ten bucks nowadays, different crankbaits and stuff. But I look at it like overhead. It's sort of like putting gas in the tank. You've got to go get more every so often, and that's kind of the way it is with lures too. You, you can't get too attached to them. or not.
two fish, fillets. That's a little bit of dark meat on this one, and that's got to come off. Well, I'm back at camp here, had a fun afternoon on the water, caught a few muskies and uh, had a great morning at the gorge, a lot of fun. I did not catch a walleye, but we're going to try this bass. I got about a 17 inch smallmouth that uh, should be pretty decent eating. So uh, I'm going to get the breading on it, uh, get the fire going here and uh, let's have a taste of smallmouth bass from the Wabagoon River. Okay, super easy to do this. Um, I've got this fish fry breading. That's my absolute favorite. I've got a video on this channel that explains how to make it. And the fish, I just took them out of a bag. They were in the cooler all day. Rinsed them off good. Got them breaded good in here. And then we are just going to put some oil in the pan as soon as this fire burns down a little bit. And, um, and we're just going to fry them until they're golden brown. Super easy recipe. Gonna put about an inch of oil in here. Maybe less than an inch. Now this will get hot pretty fast, but we are looking for about 350 to 375 degrees. You can use a temperature gauge if you want. I got a pretty good idea what that looks like when I put the fish in, so I usually don't bring a thermometer with me to gauge it but about 375 is kind of the sweet spot that I shoot for if you get much below 325 to 350 then you know your your fish is starting to soak up the oil instead of just fry in it but anyway I got a nice level spot here I would prefer to use rocks but we're in a area with nothing but sand right here so I couldn't find a couple of rocks to use so we're just going to use the wood. This will work out fine. Oh, that's perfect. Now, it's only going to take about a minute to a minute and a half on each side. Oh man, that's good. Oh man, that is high living right there, folks. I'm telling you, that's a meal right there. It's white, it's very white. That's a lot of fish. That's got to be close to a pound of meat right there, but that's just what I need. Wow, it's... The texture is not walleye, but the taste is... Man, I almost hate to say is it as good as walleye, but it's really good. The taste is very, very good. It doesn't taste um, 
muddy or fishy like um, sometimes largemouth bass does and I've had largemouth a few times but not very often but I don't care much for bass normally but this is really really good they people say that the bass up here in these northern waters are much better eating especially in the early part of the year and you know it's uh, the first part of July here I mean literally if it wasn't for the texture I think you could put this with walleye and people wouldn't know the difference but I mean a really good breading really helps oh man I was really hungry this is really hits the spot so three videos on this trip so far I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another one or not I haven't decided what to do tomorrow I might just go home but um, at any rate be sure and watch the other two, the musky fishing ones, um, for the, the absolute best musky fishing lake in the world, where I fished yesterday and today. Um, they turned out pretty good. I hope I got a lot of good footage. And um, I'll continue to do more of these videos as long as people watch them. I'm, you know, trying to get this channel to grow. It seems like the people who watch it are very interested, but it's just really hard for YouTube to give you any traction. and. So if you could share it on social media, hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. It's just really helpful to me. But uh, I'd, I'd really like to get this thing to grow. I'd, I'd do more and more of these if people really want to see them. So anyway, thank you for joining me, and we will see you on the next video down the road.